Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids, and in this video, I want to talk to you about this fella here, Jamal Edwards, who in fact has been an inspiration to so, so many people, including myself. I want to talk to you a little bit about this book, also about Jamal's background, and also about how he sort of inspired me. Before I do that though, I want to talk to you a little bit about sort of some of my beliefs. Now, I've been on YouTube for a long, long time, seven years publishing videos, and throughout those years, I've got a lot of advice from different people, and a lot of that advice I've taken on board. Feedback is a fantastic way of developing and growing your own business, and for me, that's my YouTube channel and also my sort of social media outreach. The things that I didn't take on board, though, are when people always make these comparisons. Uh, for example, why is your channel not performing as well as another person's channel? Why do some of your videos not get very good views? Why have you done it in that particular way? And it's when you get that sort of non-constructive sort of criticism that makes comparisons between you and somebody else that it's not a very good option to take. I always believe in following your own dreams and setting your own goals and maybe you'll have to take many different paths to get there, but if you stay true to yourself, then I truly believe that you'll be successful and you'll be happy as well with what you've achieved. Now, I'm gonna pop this book down for a little bit and just tell you a bit about Jamal. Now, he grew up in West London, and as a kid, I'm sure he won't mind me saying this, but he got in a lot of trouble and didn't do too well at school. But that wasn't the be all and end all because he got hold of a handy cam and started making videos in West London with his friends of local MCs in his area, featuring sort of music videos and what I would say is real sort of rough copy of their, of their music. And he never knew that that was gonna be the start of something very, very big. He had a vision, he had self-belief, and in 2006, he founded SBTV, and now he's an inspiration to many and as I said earlier, including myself, I just think the story is absolutely fantastic. Now, this is Jamal's book. It's called Self Belief, The Vision. It's available digitally and obviously in printed copy as well. And on the digital format, you can buy it in different levels, so in different segments, and then buy the next one as you finish one level. As a paperback, £7.99 on Amazon. I think actually it's a little tiny bit cheaper at the moment, and I'll leave the link to where you can pick up the book in the video description. Now I've read the book from cover to cover and it is a fantastic story, and I wanna share with you just some of the little sort of excerpts in, in the book that I think you will find very valuable. I'm not gonna give you any spoilers because I just think you should buy the whole book and read it from cover to cover. Now I'm not reading this first one quite yet, I just wanna tell you that I read an earlier on section and it was just such a simple thing. Uh, Jamal said about his journey home and how he would take the long route home to go past the BBC television studios. Genius, just so that he could say hello to people coming out of the studio and maybe bump into somebody famous or influential. And after you've said hello to somebody enough times, they will want to interact with you a little bit more. And I thought it was fantastic. Uh, another example he gives is if you wanted to work in a famous restaurant, then you would eat there all of the time and get to know the staff there. Just very, very straightforward ideas, but so, so clever and ingenious. Uh, and he did that at a very young age, and I just think that is fantastic. Now I wanna read you a few little excerpts from the book. And the first one is from stage two. It says, it's not all about the pounds. If you don't have much money or cool equipment, remember that everyone has to start somewhere. And then later on in this particular segment, it says it's okay if your equipment is cheap. If I'd been 50, a 15 year old boy with sick equipment, I wouldn't have known what to do with it and my story wouldn't have had the same impact on people. And that is very relevant to what I do on YouTube as well because I get a lot of questions as to what camera should I buy and sometimes these are coming from people just starting out and they want to spend thousands and thousands of pounds on equipment and they've convinced themselves that they can't start a YouTube channel until they get this particular camera. 
get the camera that you've got already on your smartphone buy a cheap compact camera just start somewhere and then you can explore your creativity so that's very very good advice and this is from the end of level four and Jamal says I'm a really positive person and I like to look on the bright side because it's what keeps me going I don't like to get too bogged down but sometimes you need to fix up and listen to that voice in your head not the one that's never on your side not the really critical one the other one the one that's honest who really knows why things go wrong just brilliant and absolutely spot on advice and the same goes for if you're surrounding yourself with a lot of negative people um, I often think that if you surround yourself with positive people then that rubs off on you and you start thinking in a positive manner as well so just brilliant advice again now I'm going to read you one last segment and that's towards the end of the book and Jamal says as long as you have new ideas you'll always be on top of your game some people think you only have a limited amount of time in the spotlight before your turn is over but I don't worry about that it's much better to spend your time thinking up new things you could do with your life than worrying about keeping hold of what you have and that is very very true and with that particular statement I really relate that to changing paths for example if I come up with an idea and it's not working for me or I'm not enjoying doing it then I take a different path I take a different approach to that idea and then if I'm pushing out that idea maybe a different video format and people aren't enjoying it or responding to it correctly or as well as I would like to then I change that path again so it's all about just trying things there's never something that I would call a failure it's purely just taking what isn't working changing directions and then hopefully it will work on that different direction if it doesn't you might have to explore many different paths before it works for you this book is just fantastic and I've absolutely enjoyed reading it from cover to cover and I will probably read it again from cover to cover I really do think you should pick it up if you're somebody who uh, is looking for some sort of guidance and inspiration then this is a brilliant brilliant purchase it will be seven pounds 99 really well invested this is self-belief the vision by Jamal Edwards and just a personal message at the end of this video for Jamal uh, you are an inspiration to me I've followed what you've done on SBTV from the early days and you know we've been in contact with each other before and I just think you've done well you've done good and I really do respect what you've achieved thank you very much for writing the book it's certainly got some very inspirational pieces inside for me as well as I'm sure it will have for many many other people so that's it for this video thank you very much for watching please do hit that like button please do subscribe to the channel and I will see you all in the next one